Hello everyone, it's DMBOY27. Welcome back to Let's Play Aragon for the Game Boy Advance. Last time we defeated all the little orc commanders. I'm gonna call them orcs even though we call them ur- oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, even though we call them urgles, because I don't care about what this game calls them, to be honest. Retreat. Oh, I should probably- actually, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, that's right. Um, but anyway. Keep going up, keep going up. Alright, I remember this part, which means we're gonna be running like hell. Check this out. There is a bunch of dudes in here, but there's a lot of treasure chests. Yep, there they are. Look at all those guys. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna run and grab every single treasure chest I can. Got health. Ah, oh, you gotta get in my way? Fine. I'm gonna run from you. I got some ancient chains. Giant Slayer. Ooh, Giant Slayer. I need that. That's what I came in here for. Giant Slayer should be or an Urgle Slayer, so which means it does like double damage or something like that. Ancient Chain. Looks good to me. Alright. Don't really know what it does. Argent Helm. Ancient Helm. I don't care. And yes, Arya is left with one health. I don't care. Ooh, poison. Vials of poison. We can use those on our weapons just like we do with the barbs. There really is no difference except that it, using both at once would do with stack. Poison does not stack with poison. Bleeding does not stack with bleeding. So maybe you want to use both at the same time. There is no honor in Aragon. There is none. Anyway, now that we've defeated both sides of the story, we should probably go on ahead. As there's nothing stopping us from moving on. And there is actually a dead end, which leads me to wonder what where they were going on horseback. I have no idea where they were planning on going while they were on horseback. Now some of you may have read Aragon, some of you may have not read Aragon like me, and to be honest, uh, I wouldn't pay attention to anything that happens in this game, because a lot of it actually doesn't happen. Uh, there's actually one that happens very soon. But anyway, uh, we're playing as Fallon and Gwilin Wing because we're fighting this shade dude called Durgle. I think his name is Durgle. Oh, he's got double now. Yeah, his name is something. I forget what his name was. He's some super bad guy. Ow. Ow. His name is... Yeah, Durza. There we go. His name's Durza. He's an evil shade or something like that. That... Uh, you know what? I just consider him a vampire, and I ended at that. He can use magic, and he's going to kick the crap out of Glenwing and Fowling. There's nothing you can really do about it, so I just shoot Durza out of spite. You can't run either, by the way. And there's another flood attack. Probably gonna kill Glenwing. Bye, Glenwing. There, there he goes. And, he, and look, he doesn't even take any damage. He takes one damage, because every single enemy in this game is somehow gifted with the ability to j Ow! Uh, somehow gifted with the ability to just not take damage from magic, even though we have to. And as we try to back up, all of the guys I ran from earlier and didn't fight are there. Actually, just kidding. Even if you killed everyone in the camp, uh, you wouldn't have. They're, they're, they would still be there. Alright, so now it's just Arya fighting, and now you understand the reason why I really didn't do anything. I'm just gonna let her just kind of die off. There we go. She's good. That's This was supposed to happen, so whatever. Ooh, she threw a, a knife at He threw a knife at him. Her. And, uh, you might not have seen it, especially since YouTube compression quality makes this game look even worse than it already does. Um, she sent the stone far, far away to where we finally meet the main character of this story, whose name is Aragon. There he is, right there.
Alright, so we're young Aragon, a farmer's boy living with his uncle. <coughs> So, I don't know, pay attention to the names, I guess. I really don't... You know what? I don't know how to explain this. I'd rather not even talk about the game itself while I'm playing it. If, if that makes sense. Anyway, Sloane doesn't like the gem because his wife died there. Horse is defending me because he's friends with my Uncle Garrow or whatever. Apparently we're poor. There's that girl that doesn't talk at all. She actually joins our party later. Oh, apparently Sloane's Katrina's dad. Uh, Sloane's Katrina. Yeah, Katrina's dad. I forget if this actually happens in the book or not, whether or not we actually have to pay her, pay Horst, ah, uh, pay, <coughs> Sloan is the butcher, that's right, pay Horst back. Does that even happen in the book? You tell me. Tell me if that actually happens in the book. Anyway, we're gonna go on, uh, there's nothing to see in town, to be honest, although we could look at Aragon and check this stuff. He has abilities, he knows two things for swords and two things for, uh, two things for, uh, bows. Right now he has a bow equipped, a hunting bow. And we don't have anything else for them. He's focused on hunting right now, actually. Uh, he has a bunch of focuses he can go into, herbal, weapon, endurance, and hunting. And by doing this, you get an extra bonus when you level up, and that bonus doesn't isn't the only thing you get when you level up but it it does it influences a lot of things and Aragon's best uh, thing to be doing is hunting uh, eventually we're gonna move him into maybe weapon uh, but weapon and hunting is pretty much all he's gonna be doing in this game because it's there's no reason to ever be balanced being balanced in this game gets you punished being balanced in this game is actually really bad Anyway, as you can see though, I went to the inventory, and we still have all our stuff from when we were Arya. Uh, I don't know, plot hole, I guess? And I wouldn't use it either, it's too powerful. Now, this is why I said being balanced is a bad idea. Things like this will show up on the map every now and then. Uh, and if a character in your party meets these requirements, you can pick these things up. For some reason, I don't know enough about this plant to pick it up. I would need an herbal focus of 15 to pick up the herbs. Same for this one. <coughs> Alright, this is our uncle. His uncle Garo. Something about charity and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, well, you know, you, I'll let you guys read. Forget about this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about this bland, this story. And it's not even. It, okay, okay. Let's settle this right now. I, I think Aragon the book is a good, successful work. This game is really bad. Anything I say about this is not about the book. It's everything about the game. That's all I have to say about the matter. So let's forget about that for now. Anyway, uh, the reason we're, like I said, the reason we're doing this right now is because I really can't afford to play any other games 
it's not a it's not an issue of whether or not there are games we should or shouldn't play. Oh no, there's Bulk Tai Two. There's uh, uh, let's see, there's yeah, there's Bulk Tai Two. There is Azure Dreams for the GBA. That's gonna be fun. Um, there's gonna be Dragon. There, I'm, there's still Dragon Warrior Monsters too, but like I said, school, uh, part-time job in the winter. It's 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 a slow process. There's Dragon Warrior Monsters Three Caravan Heart. We're gonna do that too. There's a lot of games I can do for consoles with the with the uh, with the capture card, but all of that require it doesn't require. But all of that would be so much better if I had if I had a better computer to just do some fancy editing and make it just all much more entertaining for every one of you. It would be so much better if I did that. So I'm holding it out. I really don't want to do any of those games until I get a better computer and until I master editing, editing software. It's gonna be slow, it's gonna start slow, but it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be more entertaining. But so this is why we're not playing those games. It's you might a lot of uh, I don't know how you guys feel. I don't know how you guys feel in the matter because I'm not you and but I am the only thing I can really do is tell you what I'm doing, and I just uh, I just don't want to play any of those games on this computer. I don't want to play any of those games in a casual manner because they deserve so much more. Anyway, now we have new party members, and this is where we start. Uh, I start breaking. I'm, actually, this I'm not even gonna break the game. I'm gonna play the game like the game wanted me to. Anyway, we have her cousin Roran and Roran's fiance Katrina. She is using kitchen knives to attack people. <laughs> this probably doesn't actually happen in the book. I know it doesn't happen in the book. She's fighting with cleavers. And by chopping meat, she's going to be chopping people. And we're going to teach you about focuses now. Herbal. Weapon, endurance, hunting, things of that sort. It's all self-explanatory. Let's not talk about it anymore. The game I probably will play uh, once I get uh, the the new computer. Uh, we're going to keep Roran and Katrina at Herbal and that. We're probably going to have Roran do hunting eventually. I mean, I mean Roran do weapon eventually. But not right now. Anyway, we're going around the town, and we can actually pick up these things over here. Uh, we got some basil leaves. Oop. Dusky root. Basil leaf. Cool. And basically, we're just going around town talking to everybody. Every single person. There's Horace over there. I really don't care about him right now. Or roots. Are we a skilled enough hunter to track them? Maybe. Pernia wants help. Lost her blade of grass. It's an actual sword. Anyway. There's a bully. There's a get That Imperial bully wants us to uh, get better in weapon focus. We need an herbal focus of 10 to do that. There's Carlisle. And here we can get some we can get some item from this chest. There's some gold and salt. And some boots. And oil. Oil. Uh, you'll see what we use the oil for later. Let's equip those boots onto Aragon. And uh, having these boots on actually do a little bit less, but it increases my speed by a little bit. Everything in this game is so confusing because there's so many stats that don't make any sense. How, how am I supposed to know what they do? Anyway, enough of that. Whenever you exit and re enter a map, you can pick up the same plants over and over and over again. It's ridiculous. There's no spawn time or anything. You just go through a map, pick up everything you see, exit, re-enter, and you can just pick it up all up again. <clears throat> Bandits are keeping caravans away from town. This is Horse's shop. Uh, I went in here because... Uh, we we're gonna steal his knives and equip them on Katrina. It's gonna be fun. These knives are pretty good. And they reduce your dodge by 5, but increase your 
damage. And if you look at the bottom, it says bleed. It means that it actually makes the enemy bleed when you hit them with it. It's kind of weird. There's an herbalist. She can teach us about how to make potions. I already did that, so I'm gonna, I already picked up those. Th I already did that. Okay, so apparently she's not checking. Right, so let's do this. Pick these up again. I really don't care to. I won't leave you guys without actually seeing uh, Katrina chop up someone, so we're gonna make sure that happens. I need an endurance of five to blast this crate. All right. This is Brahm's house. A attacks do average damage, while B attacks do a wider range. They can also do less. And here we have a magic book. We need a magic focus of at least 72 to read this book. You'll never get this magic book ever, unless you're crazy. I'm not crazy. Anyway, now that we've got that, we can go to any alchemist in the game. Or if we have a mortar and pestle, we can do it anytime we want in our own menu. Uh, you don't have to unlock anything, this menu shows you what you can make. <clears throat> right now we have the materials necessary to create a health potion uh, of the first kind. We can only have 99 potions. Although, I don't think we're gonna have 99 potions. Uh, just letting you know, I don't know, if you want to obsess over it. And now we have health potions, hooray! I'm actually gonna make a little bit more. How am I gonna make 10? I'm gonna need those. Let's go talk to... Horst? Alright, he's giving us gold a sharpening stone, and a coarse stone, as long, along with a bronze sword. I'm actually not going to be using that sword, but he's going to make us use it in uh, tempering weapons. Alright, so watch. So, here we go. Uh, you can see on the left that little thing over there. The bronze sword can use one stone to increase it, to increase its stats. I can use either the sharpening stone or the coarse stone. Sharpening stone will increase the damage. Coarse stone will do something else. I can't really tell. There we have it. It costs gold to do it. You can modify it as many times as you want. I'm probably going to get the hunting bow. I don't have enough to do that. I need one more piece of gold. That's that's horrible. Anyway. Up, oh, I can go over here and I can actually look at find that thief, but I'd rather not do that. Not yet. I'm not high enough a level. Scander and William wants to play hide and seek. <coughs> I might do that, so let's go look for these tykes. It's pretty easy to find them. Pick that up. Where is the kid? There you are. Right by these roots I can pick up again. Alright, he's gonna give me five gold. Ooh, a string. String and uh, oils for bows and things like that. Stones and things like the hammers or for, uh, for swords and other such. Where's the other kid? Come here, buddy. There you are. Alright, he gave me some more gold, and brass tongs. Cool. So what I'm gonna do- actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna get upgrades later. I could take a look at Katrina's knives. Add three damage. Eh, who cares. Now, I believe there's a fight all the way down here. Here we go. Oh boy, are they- Uh-oh, I didn't want to fight them yet. Oh well, I think AA does something with, uh, Roran? Yeah, Hammerfall, that stuns something. And I believe... BA is killing shot? No, it's not. BA is... Vitals for Katrina. Okay. AB should be... Butchery, which insta-kills every now and then. Is it BB? 
No, it's not. Dang it. Ow. Backbreaker can stun as well. Wow, look at all that experience we just got. Alright, what happened just now? Alright, let me just take a look at these abilities. AA. BB. AA can stun. Fit. BB can par- I don't even know what that means. Anyway. Okay, abilities. Butchery. Insta-kill. AB. Okay. Aragon. Abilities. Killing shot. AB. That's all you need to know. We did it! Hooray! Uh, uh, I don't know. Is there? Uh, there should be a reward for this. Someone's supposed to like reward me for this. I killed the thieves. Hmm. Where is that man? Are you? No. Apparently not. <coughs> oh well. Let's just go ahead and uh, grab the treasure chest I saw over there. Yeah, there's nothing in here. That's a treasure chest. I got some gold. And bronze knives that are not nearly as good as the father's knives, which cause people to bleed to death. Um, I forget if I can take on this thief over here. Let's save. And if I can beat him, we'll, uh, we'll end this. Yeah, we're level 4. Have fun. I believe this guy's also unable to be insta-killed. Alright. Oh yeah, he can hurt us. Okay, so AB. Killing shot. That yeah, didn't work. Let's do AA. BA's vitals. So let's see. AA's power shot? Precision. Okay. Ow! Oh, that was very loud. Excuse me. I'm sorry. That, that was very loud. Alright, we got him! And I got a hammer for it, which is just something, uh... I got some hammer, I don't know. Some hammer we can use for forging. Got some gold, taut string, sturdy draw, which is an, which I think is the bow I want to use with Aragog. I got some gold, an iron hammer. Hooray! We have better stuff now, so I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, buff those things up off screen. That's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you have a better grasp of what's going on in this game and what's going on on the channel. It's gonna get better. I swear it is. It's going to. And I look forward to it. But right now we're just stalling. That's all we're doing right now is stalling. And I hope you bear with me. This is Steam127 wishing you all a bright tomorrow. Have a good day.